Hello Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at your weekend guidance tarot reading for January 10th through the 12th. And I just want to touch on really quickly um, about the eclipse that's going to happen this Friday. It's a, an eclipse that's going to happen in the sign of Cancer, which is a very watery, very emotional energy. Um, you may feel the need to withdraw. You may feel the need, um, you may feel heightened emotions or a little bit of stress, anxiety, worry, sadness. The recommendation for all the signs this week, or this weekend rather, is to just let the emotions arise, right? Feel the emotions, and then just let it go. Like, feel it, rise, cry it out, scream it out, whatever feeling that you're feeling you need to do to get this emotion out of your body. And then after you let it out, just sit and pro sit there and think about it. You know, sit there and process why the emotion arised. What what did it stem from? What triggered you to feel that way? Um, see what you come up with. Okay. Also, guys, please keep in mind the messages here are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. So if there's something in the title that resonates for you, there's most likely something in the message. Okay. I do do a drawing here every month for free personal reading. If it's something that you're interested in, the information will be in the description box. Basically, all you have to do is comment your astrological sign below. That will get you entered into the drawing. And then last but certainly not least, I pull a power thought card at the end of every message. So if you find the message is helpful, if you find it's resonating, you are more than welcome to stay until the end for that power thought. Um, it's just like a little positive boost, a little positive mantra, if you will, at the end of every message. So Sagittarius, the cards that are coming out for you is chaos, fulfillment, and invisible. I feel like Sagittarius, there's storm brewing. This has been coming up in quite a few readings. I wanted to use a different deck to see if I can tap into a different energy, but I feel like out of this storm is going to come something that's very fulfilling. But before this happens, there's a need to take a step back. And I feel like you may be unable to see this or not wanting, not wanting to do this. Fulfillment is going to come from taking a step back, is the sense that I am getting here, Sagittarius. Um, pay attention. Pay attention. There is a storm brewing. So like I was saying, that Cancer full moon may very well hit you, okay? Don't try to react out of emotions because it could be the pull of the moon. Try and wait at least until the weekend's over to to process, deal with any situation that may be intense, okay? But I do feel like there is a storm brewing. So let's see here, Sag, what we can see. The sunshine always comes after the rain, is what I'm hearing. Okay. I feel like there was a relationship or a job, some type of situation you were involved with that was causing ill feelings. I feel like this situation was very toxic. If this was a relationship, it was a very toxic relationship, a lot of control, a lot of manipulation. I feel like there's going to be somebody that's going to come in that's going to help you through this healing process, okay? But I feel like you may be resistant to this connection because of what you've just been through, okay? The storm that you've just gone through. I feel like the situation 
that chaos is representing is I feel like it's a person not wanting to let this go. Either this is you not wanting to let this go or the other person, but this resistance is causing this turmoil, okay? I feel like there's a need to stop resisting, okay? If you, if something isn't coming together the way that you want it to come together, there's a reason. There's a reason for that. Okay. So don't fight that. Don't force somebody to stay around if they don't want to, you know, don't stay in a situation because it's toxic just because you guys may have history or longevity. Okay. I do feel like you are waiting. The good thing about this waiting is you're changing your perspective. But I feel here, Sag, that this waiting is terrible. Look at this hanged man. It's like freaking enforced isolation. Ask the right questions and this could very well be to yourself remember when you're when i was talking about letting those emotions rise and fall and then trying to ask yourself what's the lesson to learn maybe even digging a little bit deeper than that what triggered these emotions why and really just processing get a couple I'm gonna get a couple clarifying cards on this hanged man here I do feel like there's going to be a decision that's going to be made so we have water coming out we have earth energy coming out and we have air okay there's deception this person is being deceptive this person is not telling you the truth they may come back in and offer you something but then they're withholding again Knight of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. It's time to take action, okay? I feel like there's going to be something that happens this weekend that puts the nail in the coffin. I don't get the sense that this enforced isolation is going to be lit up anytime soon, though. I feel like you're waiting, you're stuck waiting. Let's get some fairy tarot out here, see if we can dig a little bit deeper into this situation here, Sag, because I do feel like there is a need to look at the Queen of Swords, okay? The Queen of Swords is a very practical energy, a very decisive, a very um, matter-of-fact you know, not emotionally driven at all, but more factual based. Seek the facts. Be a fact finder. Pay attention. Be practical about the situation. Don't look at the situation with rose colored glasses. Also, with the devil and a hanged man energy, this is definitely a sign of manipulation. A sign, because understand here, Sag, that when a controlling person wants to manipulate you, it's easier if they can isolate you from your friends and family. So, just try to get out of your shell a little bit. Don't Sit, find yourself stuck waiting. Mm -hmm. I do get the sense here that you do have a desire for something more meaningful. And maybe you're waiting because you thought it was this person. You thought this was your person. 
that you were going to be with. But understand that it's time to let this go. There's new opportunities that are going to be more fulfilling coming in here, Satch. I get the sense that this is a very stressful decision for you. You may feel... I'm getting the sense that you might feel like you lost, like you lost a battle, okay? But understand that when you're moving away from somebody that's toxic, that's bringing negativity into your life, it can only get better from here. No more enforced isolation, Satch. Let's pull some... Let's pull your power thought card. I am going to do an extended reading here, Sag. I do want to take a look at this person, what they're coming across as, you know, where their head is at, where their mindset is at, what they're presenting themselves as. I also am going to take a look at where this is headed. We'll pull out the psychic tarot. We're going to pull out the guidance cards. So if that is something that you're interested in, the information is in the description. The link is below in the description box. All right, Sash. So let's see. Let's see. I do just feel there's a need here to take action. There's a need here to release this past situation. And it's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. So the power thought card that's coming out for you guys Sag is, I am totally adequate for all situations. I am one with the power of, the power and wisdom of the universe. I claim this power and it is easy for me to stand up for myself. I am totally adequate for all situations. So Sagittarius, Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.